for a lot of my life, I considered my sister as a pretty close friend of mine. And um, for a while now, she's been kind of rude. Um, and um, I think it that all started with my hunger strike. And when I came out talking about the drugs, I feel like no one really liked that very much. Um, and I know what you guys are thinking, well, maybe you are Aryan Brotherhood. And what I'll tell you is, yeah, um, that like, we're also Crips, we're also Bloods, we're also all these gangs. Um, like, of, of course, like, I mean, everyone that sells drugs, we're part of them. Um, so, yeah, of course we're Aryan Brotherhood, but um, in reality, um, on, 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 the, on the level that I'm at, we're, we're, we're not Aryan Brotherhood. And so when she said we're Aryan, I was like, huh. And then I started thinking I was Aryan Brotherhood, and I was like, all right. Because I thought she was, like, telling me, and I was like, and then, and then slowly I started to realize that she didn't know anything before, like, when I first started talking about the drugs. And so suddenly she, like, skipped over me and found out things I didn't know. Um, but more than anything, like, the reason that my sister's not in my will is because she turned on my family. Like, my brother was in a custody battle, she doesn't even know my brother. She goes and testifies against my brother in court, and now she's the only person in our family that can see my nephews. Like, er everyone else isn't allowed to, to see, like my, my, my parents aren't allowed to see their grandkids because my, my um, sister-in-law, or my former sister-in-law, says that my parents are dangerous. Um, and she, so like, all she had to do was testify in court against my brother, and now she's, she gets to be around those kids. Um, but, um, I don't know. I, I personally, if I was one of us, I wouldn't have let my husband move to Colorado. Uh, I would have kept him in San Antonio where he's not going to be able to find the drugs. And I feel like a lot of people move to Colorado thinking they're going to find the drugs, and then sometimes they do. And um, have you guys found anything for the like, last like four years? When was the last time you found something? I know exactly where you found it. And it wasn't my brother-in-law that found it. It was a guy that I know, that the one that chopped off someone's arm, showed up in a city, and I was like, wow, that's, that, that's kind of interesting you showed up there. Um, I don't want to talk about it. But what I'm saying is that um, they don't get very many busts in Colorado anymore. And what I'm also saying is um, it's really suspicious that my sister said that she's Aryan because I don't know anyone that said they're Aryan. And the last thing that we would do is try to associate ourselves with a prison gang that's known for like killings and stuff. I mean, like that's, that's just not how our gang works. Um, so, um, I don't know. I, I, my sister shouldn't take it personally that I'm not putting her in my will, um, but maybe she should because like, you stiff two waitresses when you worked at like, the fanciest steakhouse that I've ever been to in my life, a place that I can't even afford, I've never been able to afford a meal once in my life that is that expensive, and you get tipped based on how much th those steaks cost, which every freaking bill is over 100 bucks, and then you stiff a waitress because they didn't give you very good service twice? On, on two different occasions you did that? And I've seen when waiters are, 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 are slow to serve you, you get this look in your eye and you get obsessed with the waiter and you start talking about him. And I'm just saying like, that shows me that you have a lack of compassion because you're, you're someone that will like have it out for a waiter when you've been a waiter. You know what it's like to get your rhythm thrown off? Have you ever had a table that you get something, you come back and then like, oh, I forgot to ask you for this. And then you, next thing you know, you're all, you're, every single trip is for this one table, it happens. And so when you stiff a waitress, but then you've been making so much money off your tips, it really pisses me off. Because I worked at a Chinese food restaurant with meals that are like eight bucks a piece, and I was getting a dollar tip on some of my tables. And that includes soup and the meal. So all I'm saying is, um, I don't like my sister. And my brother-in-law, I actually like him. I don't like him because he married my sister, because I think that if you marry someone that's that big of a bitch, then it tells me exactly who you are, you're a whore. And I feel like a lot of English people people are whores in the United States, N no offense, but um, you guys act like whores. You try to marry people because you're a whore. So um, what happens to whores? You get STDs, that's what happened.